Hey guys, this is Anthony here with another WordPress quick tip, and today I'm going to be talking about caching your WordPress site to an external Redis server. So Redis is a caching system that allows for you to store HTML output of your site to a hash key that links up when a user accesses your site. So the benefit to this is that it compiles all of your PHP files into a static HTML file that is minified and then it's returned back to your visitors much more faster than, than if you were to uh, do it on your local environment. So this has a ton of benefits. It may seem a little intimidating uh, at first, but it's, it's worth it. So uh, an example of the speeds that I've gotten out of it, uh, the Cloud Sites website, uh, I, I actually configured that to run off of Redis and it and resulted in under half a second load time, so it was ridiculously fast. So uh, the plugin that I'm going to be talking about today is one that I assisted in developing with a fellow racker Juan Castro. And uh, the plugin allows for you to input the credentials of your Redis server so that your site can begin storing the cached versions of your pages to the server. So it, this tutorial may seem a little more advanced, but uh, it, it's, it's pretty easy if you just copy the commands over and run them on a server. So uh, let's get right into it. Okay, so for this tutorial, I'm using a, uh, a, an Ubuntu 12.04 uh, server. And uh, when you spin up your server, make sure that you run a sudo apt-get update so that you've got the most recent uh, updates. And also run a sudo apt-get install vim so that you can uh, view the file and follow along with what I'm doing. So I've already done uh, the first two steps just to save some time in the tutorial. Uh, and we're going to move on to the third step, which is uh, sudo app install uh, Redis server. And what this is going to do is it's actually going to install Redis. So uh, I'm pasting in that command right now, and it's running the install. And once it completes, we're going to go into the configuration, and we're going to we're going to change a few things uh, and, and make sure that it's ready to receive the hash key or to receive yeah, receive the hash key from WordPress. So we need to make a connection between WordPress and this uh, this server. <clears throat> All right, so it's uh, finished installing, uh, and now I'm going to go ahead and vim the configuration file. And what we're going to want to do is go on to line 30, and you're going to see that um, it's going to have a, on line 30, it's going to say bind. What we're going to want to do is change this value, uh, this IP address, to 0, 0. Um, 0, 0. So just change every number to a zero. Uh, what this is going to do is it's going to allow the connection. Now what we're also going to do is we're going to go down to line 122. And if we go down, got 105.9. All right, so we're at line uh, 122, and you're going to see uh, master auth. You're going to want to uncomment master auth, and you're going to want to input a password. What this is is this is going to be uh, what secures the server. Um, and makes the connection from WordPress to here. So uh, for mine, I'm just going to type WordPress guy, uh, and that's and that is um, and not a suggested password, but uh, <laughs> you probably want to have something more secure because uh, you can make 150 requests to Redis uh, per second. So for this one, just just for the sake of uh, demonstration, WordPress guy is going to be my password. Now let's go down to line 150. And in line 150, there is going to be, where is line 150? Ah, there it is. Require pass. So uh, you're going to want to uncomment require pass. And, um, and actually, it's 150,000 passwords per second that you can run against this. So they, it, it would uh, be very easy to break an, a simple password. So for this, I'm going to just type WordPress guy. And we're going to go ahead and write this file. So go ahead and hit escape, uh, and then your colon, and then write quit. All right, so that is configured. I'll leave these instructions as well in the description just so you can follow along. Um, and uh, But uh, first thing you're going to have to do before configuring WordPress is uh, reboot the server. So I'm going to go ahead and run a reboot. And then we're going to move into WordPress. So by the time I'm done installing the plugin and everything, it should be uh, rebooted. So let's go to the plugins panel and click on add new. And in here, go ahead and type, um, let's say, uh, Redis cache. And go ahead and search for Redis cache. 
And you're going to see the very first uh, option is the one we want, install now. Go ahead and click OK and activate the plugin. Once you're done activating the plugin, uh, you're going to want to click on the settings uh, button underneath Redis Cache. And here's where you're going to input the information for, um, for your, your Redis server. So in my case, my Redis server is, let me get my IP address, there it is. All right, so you're going to want to put in here the IP address of your server. And uh, for the instance, leave it at zero. And for the port, do 6379. And the password, whatever you defined in the configuration file is what your password would be. All right. Now, uh, the cache expiration, what this is going to do, it's going to clear the cache every however, however long you want it to. So in this case, it's going to be uh, 3,600 seconds. Um, and, and you can leave that as a default value. If you want to change it to something else, you can, and it'll clear your cache out regularly. So go ahead and save settings. And uh, once you've saved the settings, you're going to click on the Enable button at the top. Uh, if it is able to connect, you will not see an error message. If it is uh, unable to connect, there's going to be a red line up here and it's going to say that connection refused or something like that. And if that's the case, then just backtrack and, and look at the steps that we, we did before um, and, and make sure that everything matches up. And usually it's going to be either a password issue or the bind issue. So uh, once that's done, you are caching with Redis. So the configuration may seem a little intimidating, but I'll leave as clear instructions as I can in the uh, description below. And, uh, and I know this is a little more advanced, so if you have any questions, just leave a comment below and, uh, and I'll be able to, uh, to, to help you out where I can. So uh, one thing I didn't mention in the tutorial, uh, there is a feature in the, uh, this, the Redis Cache plugin that allows you to uh, minify CSS. So what it's actually doing is on top of, uh, on top of sending out a, a hash of your uh, HTML output, it's actually caching your CSS as well. So it, what it does is it gathers all the CSS files and outputs them to one minified uh, script. So um, yeah, and so uh, one thing to note too, uh, if you have a site that, like say, say you update content regularly, you're going to need to go into the settings uh, panel of the, uh, the Redis cache plugin and dump the cache. There is a clear cache option. Um, we're working in the functionality to where you can, uh, when, when a post is updated or saved, it automatically clear the cache. Um, and that's going to come in a, in a later version, but for now, it does require the manual step of clearing the cache. So uh, if you have dynamic content or anything like that, maybe Redis isn't for you, but, uh, but the, the speeds that you're going to get from this are crazy fast. Um, on average, I'm getting under a second, so it, it, you're going you're gonna to see a, a good increase in your speed. Um, so if you have any questions, again, uh, leave a comment below and be sure to subscribe. See ya!